of the biggest names in the global game going head to head. Football matches barely come any more mouthwatering than the Derby d'Italia. It is a fixture that has seen so many great moments over the years. Great goals, great players. And every time Derby Day comes around again, it feels like the first time. And fans expect something special. It asks an awful lot, of course, for the players to perform amid such a big atmosphere. But these are amongst the world's biggest stars. And it is for days like this that they invest so much in their careers. It is feverish ahead of kickoff. Nothing, of course, is certain. The fans have been going at it full tilt for hours now, turning the stadium into a real bear pit. The moment comes, though, when fans turn their attention only to the players and players to the task ahead. These are the days when legends are made. We sit in the colossal stands at the Giuseppe Miazza, making for such an impressive view as ever it has. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so. And more in actual fact, the we. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. the way Jim who do you reckon is pivotal yeah Giorgio oh he's going to be pulled back for that one Martinez, Perisic, Sensi, Sensi goes looking, and it's Chalhanolu, Checo, that's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Dybala, Quadrado, De Ligt. Morata. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He's gone for it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Perisic. And it's Dzeko. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Alexandro. Spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Sensi. Now it's Dzeko. Into Milan, still without an attempt on target. Quadrado. Chance to break. Delix. Chiellini. 
Goes direct to the front line. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. Checo, chance to shoot. And his... he's gone for it! Now it's Morata, and here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, well played, he saw that coming. Forward it goes. Out to the right, goes long. Martinez. Quadrado. Pjanic. Morata. Cristiano Ronaldo. Just brushed off the ball there. Skrinja. And it's Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu gets it out to the wing. And here's Dzeko. Machutz! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Martinez really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. The referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Alexandro. Juventus going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Dybala has a pop! Pjanic. Defenders on the back foot. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? And here's Dzeko. Real chance! Oh, that's a fine save! Dzeko simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the counter is on. Ronaldo plays it forward. Referee's given a throw. And we hit half-time, so now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. To it back on the first 45 minutes. Inter have been playing relatively well from what I've witnessed. Good movement and the ball retention has been quite strong and it's led to a few chances. It's just that cutting edge that's lacking at the moment and it's fixable. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. No score in the first half, who's ready to go for it now? Alexandro tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Cristiano Ronaldo, and the shot! Benteca! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Look, if they're going to counter, it has to be pacier and much more decisive. Juventus are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a few moments now. Defending of the desperate variety. And shoots! Cleared without complication. 
Martinez plays it out to the flank. He's got options out wide. He gets past his man. Chelhanolu. And it's Morata. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Dzeko hits it! It's in! The breakthrough arrives at last! Inter are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Into Milan, get themselves into the lead. The perfect display, and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pjanic. And here's Dybala. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. And it's Dybala. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Brozovic. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. Chalanolu. Oh, great. Oh, shooting chance. Another chance. So here comes a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. De Ligt gets rid without sophistication. Brozovic. And helps available out wide. Inter are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Arthur, Bernadeschi. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Chalanolu. Brozovic. And here's Chalhanolu, played out to the right. Chooses to go back. Sensi plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Inter can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Inter Milan. Need to hold on for a few more moments. 
Gets wrestled off the ball. More than happy to take the muscular approach. There's a long ball. Pjanic. Pjanic drives it forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. So that's it. It is all over. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Inter made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always 